So, uh, I've got my 2018 TA392. It's got an aftermarket Whipple. Um, I did not install it. My AC uh, went out quite some time ago. Finally got um, some good gauges and things. Um, hooked up my vacuum pump. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't pull down. So it had a hole in it somewhere. So I'm sitting there thinking it's because when it went out, I mean, this car's got 17, 18,000 miles. It went out, you know, 15,000 miles when it went out or whatever. I'm thinking, I bet it has something to do with this, um, with the Whipple and the heat exchanger up front. I bet something rubbed somewhere. I uh, put it up on the lift. I was out here with my oldest boy, and he noticed this. The... From looking from below, we could see that these bolts that mount that mount the um, the uh, heat exchanger were long and looked like they were pushing in to the I mean condenser. Sorry. Um, we saw it looked like it was hitting here, which you can see. Uh, that's superficial. I'm still going to tr trim the bolts. It looks like there is a hairline crack. And you're right there in the middle of that. It looks to me like a hairline crack. Um, I can't. I can hardly believe that it would be something else. And then uh, we noticed that on the, um, whatever you call this doohickey, it's not the, uh, God dog it. Anyway, it's not the um, dryer or is it the accumulator or whatever the hell it is. Uh, you can see right there how it has a heavy V cut in it. Um, luckily, it's pretty thick. And we don't see any holes in it, but either way, I think this is all one unit. And uh, what was rubbing on that was, here, I'll get, so this bracket, you see right there, that sharp part of the bracket was rubbing on that. So if you've got a Whipple on your Challenger, um... You might want to check some of this, some of these clearances on this stuff. This, um, let's see, this would go like this. It mounts to these bolts here. Goes like that and mounts the uh, heat exchanger like that. So you can see, you know, where it falls there. Um, like I said, they were sticking through quite a bit. So I'm going to try trimming maybe a quarter inch off. Um, deburr it, put it together, tighten it down, see how close it ends up, maybe trim it back some more and go from there. But I need to get a new, new condenser with, uh, this, um, whatever it's called, dryer doohickey thing. I can't even remember. Um, we'll put it all back together and start drawing everything down. But like I said, you got a Whipple on Challenger. Check that out because it sucks. Um, really taking all this apart. I did a quick video on taking the um, the front bumper off. It's really simple. Uh, this thing here, this <clears throat> this goes there, and uh, here, let me back this up. That came off with just four of the same kind of pins. Um, there's a lot of the stuff on this, which is these suckers. You know, you just take like a panel popper or screwdriver, pull this way up, and then it comes out. And then, um, let's see, uh, this had like a crash bumper thing. Um, let's see, that came off. It had... Oh, like 
I think three or six uh, push pins. So uh, gonna go tomorrow, see about getting the parts. Um, trying to take this on RMRW. We're leaving, we are leaving Friday morning. So it's now, um, what is today? Monday. All right, so awesome. Uh, you always think you'll have more time. Uh, later, guys.